I believe that with uh, the taxes which are coming on plastic, we will come closer with our paper. So things are coming together finally. If we care about the future of the world, this is what cares. So we take care of the small part, but it's a huge part, which is packaging. And we try to replace plastic wherever possible. Uh, we are doing it by using paper and cellulose materials. And hopefully from Tel Aviv, this will spread out to the whole world. Uh, we are part of the Polystar Group, uh, which is an international group with uh, 20 facilities all over. So we hope that what we develop here will be uh, sustainable packaging, whether it's recyclable or compostable for the whole world. So it was established in 1969 by my father. I joined the company in 1985. As a private company, we had some issues. We couldn't develop as much as we wanted to, and we devoted a lot of time and energy. We saw the potential. Six years ago, we sold the company to uh, the Polystar Group, from Canada, and now uh, we are part of the group with uh, almost unlimited funds for development. So we have an R&D department here, and we have all the toys. One of them is in the background that we would like to have. Uh, for example, this is the newest uh, press technology, LED, UV, no uh, effect on the environment. So this is quite an impressive uh, dream come true. Well, uh, this is part of the game. We want you to look at this as the next uh, generation of packaging. So it will look like plastic because you cannot fool the people, but it's really without plastic. We have products anywhere from 100% to 90%, 80%. All of them are plastic free, but with the same barrier. So you as a, our customer, which is a food usually uh, uh, manufacturer, We'll use the same equipment. You don't have to change the equipment, but we will support you with our new packaging, which is sustainable according to the laws and regulations in your country. Everything that we do here is quite unique. As a matter of fact, all our products are new and being developed as we listen. We are very good listeners to the customers. If you as a customer show us that you are willing to uh, be innovative. We will go the extra mile with you and develop a product for you. So we see this as a big opportunity, both business opportunity alongside of helping the global environment. Well, the most important thing in my book is the shelf life of the product. So when you uh, eat your bread, you want to make sure that you eat fresh bread. In America, it's different than in Europe. For example, in America, all the bread is frozen and then defrosted, which in Europe, it's not common. In France, you eat your bread within a few hours. What our packaging is doing is giving the extra uh, shelf life for the products, whether it's with modified atmosphere, whether it's perforations, but as long as it has no plastic in it and it gives you the shelf life that you need, this is what we develop and this is where we are good. It starts from the raw materials and the combination. So we have a kitchen here, a full kitchen and a lab. So we get breads every day from all over the world and we test them. So there are no two breads which are alike. So the ingredients of the bread together with our packaging solutions, this is what makes it a success. So we have uh, products that go into ovens, into microwaves, into all kinds of uh, capabilities that we have, that we offer. Uh, to make sure that you as a customer have the better experience with your product. The main product that we see is replacing plastic, as we said, especially in thermoforming uh, capabilities. So if in the past we did only flexible packaging for breads, today we are in the meat, uh, cheese and fish industries, where you actually exchange the air inside replace the oxygen with nitrogen, still with paper, and have the shelf life. This way, 
we, we have a win-win situation. You as a customer have a better packaging and better food. Oh, it's quite difficult because usually the issue that we have is prices. Our prices are probably sometimes anywhere from double to triple than what you're used to pay as a customer. It was a big hurdle to come over. And now I think there is more and more people that are coming to us. So today, if you are a potential customer, I will tell you in advance, guys, are you ready to pay twice or three times and be environmentally friendly and still have a good product? And more and more people are saying yes. So in the past, people said no. Now we see more and more the pressure is coming from the public. This is exactly what we are uh, trying to show people, that actually our products are really, really environmentally friendly. And when I say really, really, we take paper and paper only. Some of our competitors put between the paper some polyethylene or some plastic inside. Well, guess what? It's impossible to recycle it. And on the outside, you see the same product, but on the inside, the construction is what is difficult to do. So we managed with a lot of effort to uh, have proprietary uh, products which are in the market, which you know are plastic free. You have acrylic on the paper, so you, uh, the paper absorbs the acrylic. And when you test it afterwards, although it is water-based, the acrylic stays on the paper. So now we have starch-based glues, which are fully recyclable. So we always develop, and I don't think we came to the end of the station. So the train left the station, but it's not at the end yet. So we are keeping development, and I believe in the next few years, more and more uh, developments will come. We are still small, and but we are thinking big. We are looking at uh, the full uh, scale and obviously once production is, we have the, the capacity for more products, prices will definitely come down. And again, it's economics of scale. So uh, once you are getting a larger amounts, prices will eventually will come down. But again, prices having an issue in the market today. I believe that with uh, the taxes which are coming on plastic, we will come closer with our paper. So things are coming together finally. As I said, uh, we look at it as a huge potential. Uh, we are building a facility right now in Canada, which will be a sister company to our company. It will be Mibastar in Canada, and hopefully in many different countries. So we see it as a huge potential uh, for the future that most of our products, we are not patenting our products because if you write a patent, you have to disclose what's in it. So our recipes are staying close to us and we are not revealing the proprietary information, but we strongly believe in the market that will accept our technology in the future.